We're rolling. Welcome to Pub Travels. This is a uh, rare morning edition. It's actually a little, little bit later, late morning. But uh, regardless, we need to get some coffee going. Not my cowboy hat, baseball hat. This is my, uh, this is my morning look. All right. I don't know about you guys. On my days off, I really enjoy a cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee much during the week, uh, during my normal work week. But um, on the weekends, just something about relaxing, chilling with a cup of coffee. So we got that going. We're going to do a little breakfast thing. We're going to do something that my mom called migas, kind of a Mexican dish. Basically, uh, we've got some corn tortillas. I like using two for me. Got my booze block out this morning. I usually don't like using uh, my booze block on any kind of raw proteins or even too much wet stuff. I mean, the onions and tomatoes are okay. But um, just to protect it, it's kind of a cool cutting board. I don't use it that often. I figured I'd break, break it out for the video. Now, my mom would just tear these tortillas up into small pieces. And of course, me, I'm always working on my knife skills, so I would prefer to use my knife and to cut them up into these nice little dice little square pieces of tortilla but anyway let's go ahead we've got the pan warming up i'm going to use just a little bit of avocado oil about two tablespoons because i want these tortilla pieces to get nice and crispy that oil get nice and hot Crank that up just a little bit, about medium heat. It'll take a few minutes. You can crank it up to a little bit of a higher heat if you're going to be here standing over it and moving it around. Because we definitely don't want to burn them, but we want to get them crispy quickly. While that's going, I'll lower the heat just a little bit so we can work on the onion. I don't remember my mom putting onion in it. It's just tortillas and Kind of anything we really had in the house. We had, um, if we had chorizo, we could mix in some chorizo, which I should have thought of. I actually have some in the fridge. I haven't had my coffee. We'll leave that there in case we need it for anything. Coffee looks done. Looks like I overfilled it. Oh, that's hot. Onion. I'm only going to use half an onion. I'll save that for another project. It's the top of the morning to you. Nothing like a little knife work. First thing in the morning. I really like this knife. This is a Nakiri. It is actually, uh, I like it because it's got a little bit of a rounded um, shape to it here at the tip. Um, some Nakiris are pr pretty much squared off at the, at the end there, but you can use this as a, a rocking knife where you can see you can also chop like that. Uh, I like to rock as much as I can. I think it protects the blade of the knife a little bit better. Keep, it helps the, helps the blade last longer, keeps it sharp longer. Get all of this onion in here. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's just breakfast, right? Okay, so we'll check on our tortilla chips. Mm, there we go, all right. Good morning, now we've got some coffee. You do a quick Google search and um, you know, it comes up as an authentic Mexican dish. Kind of cool. My mom didn't make it up, I guess. All right. 
really starting to get some nice color on there. You can hear them in the pan. Getting nice and crispy. Hear that? So I'm actually going to take them off the heat. Just a pinch more avocado oil. I'm going to lower the heat. And just a little bit to help get the, the onions going. Get that one out. And that's why I love using a bench scraper. Just scoop it all up. You can hear that sizzle. <coughs> pan's nice and hot, so I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit more. I don't want to burn the onions. don't really want to caramelize them either. just want to sweat them down just a little bit. All right, so what else should we talk about on this? Not really dreary, but it's kind of overcast kind of morning. It is definitely a little bit, I wouldn't say balmy, but it is warmer for a uh, early December. Turn the heat back up just a little bit. As soon as the onions start to get translucent, you can see they're a little bit kind of opaque, if you will. They're pretty much done. So what I like to do is put in a little pad of butter in the center, I'll move the onions to the outside so we can get our eggs in. I like to use cultured butter. I think it has a just a deeper, richer flavor. And it's cultured, so it's like yogurt. It's like kefir, so on and so forth. Uh, very healthy for you. So we'll get that butter melted up real good. Crack our egg. Always want to crack your eggs on a flat surface. There's another technique that's really nice. Um, you should, be, should crack your eggs into a bowl, a small bowl. I don't think I have any clean small ones at the moment. I was going to use that as a garbage bowl. I could use that as my egg bowl. But you crack your eggs into a bowl first, whether you're going to scramble them or not, so that if you do get a shell, you can uh, easily take it out before it actually gets into frying pan or into whatever you're whatever 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 else you're cooking so I'm gonna go ahead and I, I like to let my scrambled eggs kind of set up just a little bit like you're doing an over easy or a sunny side believe it or not I think eggs are the most amazing thing in the world to eat because you can do so many different things with them so that's kind of what that looks like there Morgan no whining Dog's whining. There we go. We're just going to mix that up. Turn the heat up just a little bit. Now that we've got the egg incorporating with the onions and the tortilla. Crispy little tortilla chips. Coming together. Starting to come together, just about done. I don't like to overcook my scrambled eggs. I think overcooked dry scrambled eggs are absolutely disgusting. So another trick is you can just turn the heat off. Now it's off the heat, but the warmer and the pan is still hot, so you can finish your eggs that way. Sometimes I'll even lift the pan up off the uh, the burner um, to finish it off, to, to finish them off. So you don't have that direct heat right on the pan and, and drying out your eggs. So that's two scrambled eggs, two tortillas, half of a small to medium onion, and mix for quite a dish. A little bit of salt. Not much, just a little bit. A little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. Love some fresh cracked black pepper. Delicious. Aids in digestion as well. All right, now some of the cool stuff. You can do anything you want with your sauces. Um, generally, I 
uh, this is a kimchi puree that I have just about every morning. I buy my kimchi and I puree it. The reason that I do it that way is uh, a lot of times I'm eating my breakfast on the go, so it's in a container and it's kind of hard to eat. And I find that the kimchi, you know, the whole pieces of cabbage, they're, they're kind of crunchy and they're, they can be sour. You get that real tart right here. And with the eggs, it's, just, it's almost like too much work and almost too much flavor. But I love the nutritional value of it. So I'll just take a little bit of kimchi and puree it and throw it in my eggs in the morning. So I'm getting the nutritional value. Um, you know, you don't have that same kind of texture, but you still have the really nice kimchi flavor. And I've got some fermented jalapenos that I have fermented. So a little bit of fermented cabbage, a little bit of fermented jalapenos. And I have here salsa de arbol. So salsa de arbol is a chili arbol recipe I learned from a coworker a while back. Uh, you can add a little bit of fresh garlic to it. I don't just because it sits in my cabinet for, you know, sometimes a couple of months. But I'll take the dried chili arbols, buzz them up in a uh, spice grinder or a even a food processor, just chop them up. See, it's kind of a little bit, you know, it's not really pureed pureed, but it's kind of kind of chunky. But I'll take a little bit of that, and I've got some good quality olive oil that I've got in here. I, could, uh, I think the next batch I make, I'll probably use an avocado oil, only because the avocado oil to me is a little bit more neutral in flavor, and the olive oil has a little, uh, a little bit more. You can tell it's olive oil. It's still, still delicious, but um, you know, so much nutrition in avocado oil also. So just a nice little plate of that. An authentic Mexican breakfast. Uh, migas, my mother called it. She would tear the tortillas to tortillas into pieces, get them nice and crispy, fold in and you know onions, chorizo, tomatoes, well, whatever you really want or whatever you have in the house that you're interested in having with your breakfast. Throw in your scrambled eggs and top it with your favorite salsas. All right, and this is one of my favorite weekend treats. Sometimes I like going out to a restaurant and enjoying menu though. It's another one of my favorite chef's day off breakfast treats. But uh, let's give this a try. Mmm, it's delicious. The onions add in a really nice mild oniony oniony, oniony flavor. The tortilla crisps. Get a little bit of soggy, get a little bit soggy in the eggs, but you still get a little bit of that crunch also. Something about breakfast. It's absolutely amazing how sometimes the breakfast makes the coffee taste so much better, or is it the coffee that's making the food taste so much better? Cheers. Thanks for watching Pub Travels. Please click like, share, and subscribe. We'll do another segment soon. And we're gonna go ahead and do a little zoomy zoomy on this.